Good morning, Glam Squad. It's Jamie back with another vlog. And as you can see by the title, today we are doing a 24 hours with a newborn. So you've seen how my morning kind of starts. The only thing that I didn't show is like my morning pump session. I'm gonna try to get that at the end of the video, um, like tomorrow morning before the 24 hours is up. Um, but I was extremely tired this morning. She was up until like 2 a.m. last night, like could not get her down for anything. So um, this morning when I did my morning pump, I did not feel like vlogging, <laughs> so I just did it. Got it done and over with. Um, so anyway, she's down for her nap and this house is a mess. And laundry's piling up. Like, there's a basket of laundry over there, and yeah, I'm not gonna keep showing y'all this mess. So, anyway, I'm gonna try and get this stuff cleaned up while I have her down for her nap. Um, I have the monitor on, her sound machine is on, so hopefully, she will sleep through the noise because I have to vacuum and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, let me get started on cleaning up.
Okay, so I got the majority of the living room clean. It's not perfect, but it's definitely better than what it used to be. Um, I still have all this laundry to put away. It's all clean. It just needs to be folded and put away. And then the kids' school uniforms need to be ironed. So I'm going to try and get that done while the baby sleep. And then hopefully I'll have time to get something to eat before she wakes up. But um, either way, I will check back in with you guys as soon as I get done with this laundry. This is all the laundry I got folded before she woke up. Since she is up, she's a little fussy. I'm going to try and get through as much of this as I can. But I figured that I would do a little impromptu video of, well not video, but a clip of um, everything that you need for a newborn. So in other words, newborn necessities. Um, number one is a nook. <laughs> So this one is the MAM, M-A-M. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it. But anyway, this is the newborn one. Um, this is the one that she uses the most. We kind of go back and forth between that and a Wubbinub. The Wubbinub kind of works better for like if she's swaddled up and she's about to go down for a nap because you can kind of prop it up on her chest, put it in her mouth, and then the little giraffe will hold it in place. So we kind of go back and forth between these two. Um, and I'm not going in any particular order because I actually didn't plan on doing this in this video but since she's up I figure you know I kind of try and do this while I'm holding her um I am breastfeeding so one of the things that you're going to need is prenatal vitamins um, you still take these the entire time that you're breastfeeding it for me personally it helps my energy level I do notice a huge difference if I don't take my prenatal vitamins it affects my mood and everything like I'm more irritable because I'm tired um, I'm less motivated to get things done I have way less energy um, so that's another thing that you're gonna need um, number one if you're breastfeeding a water bottle this is the one that I got from the hospital it does not matter what water bottle you use just stay hydrated I find it easier to have my water accessible throughout the day it reminds me to drink it I in, I typically drink more water if I have a water bottle with me throughout the day versus if I just try to go get a glass of water um, so I would definitely highly 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 recommend getting a water bottle um, drinking water throughout the day it helps with your milk supply um, if you don't drink enough water like even if you're drinking like juices or like a lot of moms I know are drinking like the pink drink from Starbucks or body armor if you're not drinking water it does not matter like you have to have water and that's what's gonna help your milk production um, speaking of milk I talked about this before this is a milk collector um, when you have your let down like when you let your baby and the milk starts to come out it comes out of both sides it doesn't matter which side the baby's on so you put this on the side that the baby is not nursing on you just stick it inside of your bra and it collects the milk that expresses out on its own um definitely recommend this another thing is the haka i've talked about this before too you just squeeze it like this and you put it onto your boob and slowly let go it draws the milk out while the baby is nursing on the other side same concept um your milk comes out while the baby is nursing when you have your let down i will get like three or four ounces um when i use this the only time i use the milk collector versus the haka is if i know that she's going to nurse on both sides um so i don't want to pull like i don't want to draw out all of my milk using the haka so then i'll just use the milk collector um a manual breast pump this is the modella um and also get your get yourself some eight ounce bottles instead of the little five and a half ounce bottles that come with the pump 
I purchased the eight and a half ounce bottle separately, but that's because I have a little bit of an oversupply. Um, that's the reason why I have to pump. I pump at least once a day, sometimes twice a day, depending on how full I get. Um, it just like I get uncomfortable with the amount of milk that I make if I don't pump at least once or twice because she does drink. <clears throat> I make more milk than what she drinks basically is what I'm trying to say but anyway get yourself a, a manual pump um to me these work better than the electric pumps I don't like the way electric pumps feel I don't know exactly what it is about the electric pumps but the manual pumps to me are way more tolerable um going back to the haka when I use the the um the manual pump, I put the haka on the other side and I pump with with one with like the other side um with the manual pump. Please, please, please use lotion. <laughs> when you use this without the lotion, it gives you like this pinching feeling. Like it pull it draws on your skin and it pinches. So in order to get rid of that feeling, I put lotion anywhere on my boob where this is going to be coming in contact with me with my skin and it doesn't happen anymore like it's way more tolerable to use um but yeah so get yourself a manual pump highly 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 recommend these um i store my milk throughout the day in this dr brown's um bottle or whatever you call it it's a pitcher and it has this thing in here on the inside i'll open it up it has this thing on the inside that mixes your milk for you. It says that it's for formula, but I use it for my breast milk because if you know anything about breast milk, you're not supposed to shake it because when you shake it, it like breaks down the proteins or nutrients or something to that effect in the milk. So you're not supposed to shake it. So you're supposed to like swirl it. So this, when you pull it up and down, this thing goes up and down and it also spins. So it swirls the milk for you so you don't have to... Um, worry about doing it on your own uh when you are breastfeeding because we don't get enough vitamin d your baby doesn't get enough vitamin d so you want to get you some vitamin d drops and give this to the baby daily the one that i have is just the one drop she hasn't gotten hers for today so i'm going to give it to her right now you can either drop it directly into their mouth or you drop it onto their pacifier and then put it in their mouth and then just make sure that they um keep their pacifier in their mouth for at least <laughs> okay i'm sorry make sure you keep their pacifier in their mouth for at least 30 seconds afterwards um so that's the vitamin d drops um if you are going to be exclusively pumping if you're not going to be nursing at all then get yourself a hands-free pump this is a wearable pump I have the Mom Cozy M1. It was not super expensive. They do sell them individually. So if you want to pump for each side, then you would have to purchase two. Um, but this is the Mom Cozy M1. I'll be honest with you guys. I've only used this twice. And that's because I am not an exclusive pumper. I almost exclusively breastfeed. Like I only, she only gets bottles if she goes with someone else or if. I want my husband to feed her then I'll pump in and give him a bottle for her but that's why I don't really use this but if you're gonna be an exclusive pumper which I've done both I've it's, this is baby number three for me and um, my first I exclusively pumped and I wish I had a wearable pump then because pumping is exhausting um, so if that's what your plan is I definitely recommend get, getting yourself one of those as far as like the bottles go, I look for bottles that most closely mimic a breast because I wanted her to be able to easily transition between breastfeeding and bottle feeding. So I got the Munchkin Latch and it's got like this little airflow thing at the bottom and this comes out and um, it helps like with the airflow so that like the the baby doesn't have to like release in order to get air back into the bottle it's supposed to mimic like the breast and the nipple on it also like moves like this and it's like really soft and it has like a wide base and that's supposed to mimic the breast so i would recommend those they come in four ounce bottles as well as eight ounce bottles um 
this blanket i talked about it before um i showed you guys when i first got it in i ordered this from babylist.com my cousin had bought me a, a gift card to their website so um with babylist you can do your registry your uh your baby shower registry but you don't have you're not limited to one site you can do it through multiple sites so amazon target walmart you can do your registry through all of those sites and it's combined into one on babylist.com but then they also have their own items that they sell so the gift card that my cousin bought me was to babylist.com so i ordered this directly from them it wasn't from target or anything like that i ordered it directly through them even though it's carter's brand i think that you can probably get it from target but i ordered it from them it was on sale on their website for i believe 18 dollars. i think the original price was $38 if you go back to my previous vlog I talk about it in there um but yeah this is um a Carter's brand blanket it's really really soft it's stretchy so as you guys seen earlier I actually used this to swaddle her so these are amazing 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 I bought three of them um they're really really great and then speaking of swaddlers this is a must have like my babies for whatever reason don't sleep well unless they're swaddled i mean i know why because that it mimics when they're in the womb but not all babies like to be swaddled so mine particularly love being swaddled so you just put the baby inside of here and then you take this part wrap it around their upper half and then this part is velcroed it's like two straps and then you wrap it around and you stick it on the other side and then baby is nice and bundled in here and um i have three of these this one doesn't have the opening at the bottom i couldn't find the other ones that have the openings at the bottom but it zips so i recommend getting those that way you can change the baby's diaper without having to um completely take them out of the swaddle like it's really good for like if they're asleep overnight and you don't want to wake them up to change them this is for nursing when you're out in public it's a nursing cover and i know that this is a highly debatable topic some people like to cover in public some people absolutely refuse to cover in public my personal preference is to cover in public i'm not knocking nobody who doesn't want to cover it's just my personal preference but anyway you put this over the baby it's nice and light and it's breathable um it has this hard plastic piece at the top so that it just kind of rests against your chest so that you can see the baby you have direct view of the baby the whole time it's got um a pocket on here oh it's on the inside oh i know what the pocket is for it's so that you can close it up um anyway you can get these anywhere i got this as a gift from my sister but they sell them at target walmart amazon wherever you can get them anywhere but anyway it um rolls up uh -oh, just put it all over my baby's face <laughs> So it rolls up and then um, this pocket that's on the inside, you would actually tuck the thing into the cover into that. And I'm not going to do it. But anyway, you get the concept. It tucks into the pocket so that it folds up and then you can just kind of stick it wherever it goes. Anyway, moving on to the next thing. This is the diaper bag but it's a backpack diaper bag i only showed you that to say it's a huge difference between the, the duffel bag kind that goes over your shoulder and the backpack kind because you're going to need both your hands so i highly recommend if you're going to be using a diaper bag get the backpack style this is a car seat cover and you just put this over the baby's car seat i'm gonna try and lay her down really quick so that i can show you and hopefully she stays asleep in her swing because she does not like to sleep okay this is her car seat you take this put it over the top okay. 
boom baby is protected from covid baby is protected from wind baby is protected from rain for the most part unless you have like some sort of torrential downpour or something and it also doubles as a, um, a nursing cover too this one to me is less convenient because you can't see the baby and it's tight you know what I mean it's stretchable obviously like it, it stretches and everything but it's like right on the baby and everything so to me I prefer to use the other one that just kind of drapes over her so that's cool um let me see what else am I going to talk about um postpartum garment an absolute must um it helps to shrink down your uterus so that like I'm not gonna show y'all my stomach but like you can see like my baby's two months old I still have a little bit of a pudge down here but this postpartum garment it has helped tremendously um, I'm gonna try to insert a clip of me like when I first came home from the hospital like I still look like I was pregnant and I know that that's normal and I know that your your uterus is gonna shrink down naturally but this definitely helps to speed up the process and it helps to make it go down flatter than like your stomach go down flatter than what it normally would it's basically a waist trainer um, this one I got from Amazon I think no I, I use my health insurance you get these for free um, if you have health insurance so I contacted a, a DME provider a durable medical equipment provider and they um, have like um, they they sent this to me out in the mail um, so anyway definitely get yourself one of these and wear it daily after you I would say probably when you're about five or six days postpartum you can probably start wearing it because you don't want to injure yourself you want to make sure that like you know you're being safe and everything but it goes outside of your clothes goes over your waist and then you take this part to bring it in even more and it holds you in place and then not only that but it helps with like back support um i know when i first had my baby i was in a lot of pain and i could barely walk upright and it helped like when i put this on it helped support everything hold everything in place so that i was able to walk and stuff so it's more than just like a vanity thing it's actually like medically necessary you know what i mean so um the other thing that i highly recommend is gas relief drops i just have like the little remedies brand and you can give these to your baby starting at day one it doesn't um have like an age limit on here it says that it's safe for newborns um almost all babies get gas like I said, this is my third baby. My first one had gas all the time. My second one, for whatever reason, he didn't have gas. So I never, I bought the gas drops for him, but I never used them for him. But for my new baby, I've definitely used them already. Uh, the baby gets fussy. You don't understand what's going on with them while they're crying. Give them gas drops. Literally within like 30 seconds, they're calm. So I don't give it to her all the time like as a preventive or anything like that I only do it when she has gas um another thing is um this is for breastfeeding this is the um like nipple balm and I didn't use it with this baby probably just because this is baby number three this is my third time nursing I know what it's about and I was able to like do it without having any irritation on my nipples and stuff but for sure with my first baby oh my god this stuff was a lifesaver your nipples get chapped they crack they peel they do all of that stuff because they're constantly in the baby's mouth so this right here it was a lifesaver so anyway i would definitely recommend getting that this is a little diaper caddy that i just got from walmart um, I recommend having some sort of diaper changing station set up 
supplies whatever you want to call it in each living area so this is for downstairs because we have a two level so this one is for downstairs and then i have her main changing station upstairs in my room um let's see so these are nursing pads um it's self-explanatory it's just a nursing pad you stick it in your bra uh i specifically use those like when i'm out in public because typically when i'm at home i either use my haka or my milk collector so that's for like when we're out in public and i'm breastfeeding i always have like my breast pads in when i'm out in public because you're gonna leak especially in the beginning before your milk regulates you're going to leak um another thing that i suggest getting is this baby carrier I wouldn't be able to get half the stuff that I get done done if I did not have this baby carrier because my baby is attached to me and she doesn't like to just sit by herself like she's doing really good right now sitting in her swing but this is not typical like typically she wants to be held so you put this on you strap it around your waist You stick the baby in here and then snap her in and then you carry her around like this and then you get your stuff done and it you can use it three different ways like as the baby gets older it becomes more versatile um so like as a newborn you put the baby in here and the baby will be facing you when they get a little bit older you turn the baby around and you fold this part down and then the baby faces outward and then when they get to be even older then you put it on your back i'm not going to demonstrate it but you put it on your back and then like it's basically like a piggyback ride and you can carry them on your back so you can use it for forever this was 30 dollars maybe 40 dollars at walmart um but yeah and then for back to nursing this pillow is called um my breast friend b-r-e-s-t my breast friend um i can't say that <laughs> to save my life but anyway i've had a boppy before the boppies are overpriced overrated don't buy the boppy get you a my breast friend and it's a a little bit cheaper than the boppy i think it's like five dollars five or ten dollars cheaper than the boppy but this thing right here i use this all the time for breastfeeding i mean it's got the thing that goes around your waist so you can you know move around with it like before you put the baby on here do not walk around with your baby on here i'm just saying like it it holds the pillow in place is what i'm trying to say it holds the pillow in place it's like a firm material so your baby is not like sinking in or anything like that it's like a foam like with the boppy it's like a pillow material inside like it's a stuffed pillow basically so the baby's like falling you know slouching down whatever position you lay the baby in they don't stay there it's annoying and it doesn't have the strap to hold the pillow in place so this also has like these raised areas here and here um so when you get the baby position it holds the baby's head slightly upwards so that it keeps their posi their their head and face in the position that it needs to be in so that they can properly nurse and it comes with a pocket so you can put your phone in here you can put your extra nursing pads in here you can put you know your water bottle water bottle or whatever it is that you need so let me check i think that was it that i wanted to talk about oh really quick and my battery is about to die so i'm gonna try and get this in before my battery dies a bath caddy you need one of these i have all of her bathing supplies in here she does have sensitive dry skin right now so i'm using the um dye free scent free dove sensitive skin i also am using this to wash her up it's the baby dove um sensitive skin care it's the melanin rich skin nourishment soap oh my god this soap smells so good like 
it's almost like a cocoa buttery it just reminds me of like brown sugar type yeah it's it smells so good and it has helped to like clear her skin up um i love the way baby magic smells so i'll put baby magic on her body i don't put it on her face i use this on her face only um i have her towels in here i usually have a dry towel in here but i just changed it out because she spit up on her dry towel earlier i do have some cotton rounds in here because she um had like baby acne really bad at one point uh i was putting breast milk on her face so you just take like a cotton round you can hand express some breast milk onto the cotton round and then you rub it onto the baby's face within like two weeks your baby skin starts to clear up so anyway that was all that i could think of right now as far as like the baby necessities if i think of anything else after i publish this video then i'll just leave it in the description bar below um so yeah i'm going to probably feed her again i think she's ready to eat again and then after i feed her then i'm gonna try and find something for me to eat so i will be checking back in with you guys in a little bit to continue with this whole 24 hours with a newborn okay so i'm done feeding the baby and it is going on two o'clock in the afternoon i still have yet to eat anything today so i'm gonna try to find me something to eat but this is reality i'm just gonna show y'all my kitchen i just came in here and i just had to show you guys really quick this is what my kitchen looks like <laughs> So this is why it's two o'clock in the afternoon and I still haven't eaten anything because every time I get ready to go to do something, I just realize like there's so much other stuff to do. Uh, the baby's in here. I have to get this tidy up. Okay, here we go. Uh, the baby's bath water is still in here. This needs to be let out. So I gotta get this out of here. It's a dirty diaper on the counter. <laughs> there's dishes from last night that still haven't been washed and yeah so what do I want to do right now do I want to eat or do I want to clean the kitchen I want to clean the kitchen but I have to eat because I'm still a human being so this is like the frustrating part so I'm gonna go ahead and eat and then if I have time before my kids get home from school and I have to go pick up this grocery order because I have a three o'clock grocery order pick up, then I will clean the kitchen. But in the meantime, this little munchkin is still awake. Shut me your face. <laughs> she's still awake, but she's sleepy. So I'm gonna try and put her to sleep really quick and then finally feed myself okay people it is about four in the afternoon baby is awake again and it's time for me to go pick up my grocery order from walmart i just almost walked straight into this door and the kids are home from school the older kids let me turn off her noise machine okay mama Okay. Time to wake up. Time to wake up. Time to wake up. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> so I just caught a glimpse of myself in the camera, realizing that I have to go outside and I'm not finna just be sitting in the house. So I need to do something with my hair and put on some clothes. I did already like do the showering and all of that stuff this morning. Like I took my shower and everything this morning. But I just put pajamas back on because honestly, I'm just going to get spit up on all day. And it doesn't make any sense for me to get dressed or get cute or anything like that. Just to get vomit on myself because look. Can you see that? It's just part of my everyday work. Okay. I 
forgot that I had sheets in the washer and I'm I should have took a nap while the baby was taking her nap, but she didn't sleep for her. Well, she took a decent nap, but it wasn't like long enough for me to go get a good nap in anyway. So I'm not even mad that I didn't take a nap. Okay, so this reminds me. <laughs> Can we talk about postpartum shedding real quick? Because like, yeah my edges i'm just gonna show y'all my edges they're leaving <laughs> my edges they're leaving so new owner <laughs> so another reason why we need to take our prenatal vitamins is to help with the postpartum shedding because like y'all seen that today I didn't eat until two o'clock this afternoon. That's not exactly healthy, you know what I mean? So like we don't get in enough calories, we're not getting in enough nutrients to like keep up with you know what our body needs, especially like when we're breast breastfeeding and you know everything that we have is going to like our breast milk specifically for our babies. So it's very important to make sure that we're like taking our prenatal vitamins and stuff like that to um just to make sure that we're getting the nutrients that we need like just for me rubbing my hair like you see all that hair that came out i haven't even combed or like detangled my hair or anything like that that's just shedding just for me like rubbing on my hair just trying to moisturize it so postpartum shedding is normal you're gonna have some shedding but you want to try and like reduce it as much as possible like this time is not even bad like honestly like <laughs> I have like kind of a bald spot like right here like all that came out but like this side is okay but honestly it's not even as bad as it was like with my first two like with my first two from here all the way back was gone and then i just had like this part right here on the sides and then like a little bit in the middle but like all my edges were like ate up completely but that didn't happen until my baby was like three months like i was it didn't happen until I was like three months postpartum and right now I'm only two months postpartum so I guess I still have time to go bald I'm trying to find we'll see I'm trying to keep that from happening I'm trying to find a place to stitch y'all up there's no good spots in my bathroom is that okay I guess that's okay I'm not detangling my hair. I'm just trying to put it up into a ponytail real quick. Jesus, I lost my edges. <laughs> I'm just trying to get my hair up into a ponytail real quick so I can look somewhat decent. So I can do this grocery pickup. I'm not going inside of Walmart. I'm just going to do the pickup. So I don't really care what I look like, to be honest. still not like back to myself like I lost the baby weight and everything but I still haven't gotten back into a groove enough to find time to take care of myself like I want to like get my hair done get my feet done get my nails done like I would like to get a facial at least once a month and that hasn't happened as of yet um yeah like i'm still trying to figure out how to keep my house clean let alone do like all my extra maintenance stuff but we'll get there eventually all right
<sighs> this is mom life. Okay, I'm just gonna go put on t-shirt and sweatpants. Everyday outfit. And I probably should have took the kids out today, but there's just not enough hours in the day. But like, I should have took the kids out today because it's like 78 degrees outside right now and it's February, so. Like, I know we live in Texas and it doesn't get like super duper cold. Well, it does get cold, but it doesn't stay cold. But, um, like, I know we're gonna have nice weather again. It's just the fact that, like, once it gets hot in Texas, it gets really hot. So, anyway, all right, let me get dressed. I'm just gonna do sweatpants. And a t shirt. Like, you know, your mom, when you go in your closet and you literally grab the first clean pair of pants that you see, and the like, who cares? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get dressed and then I'll check back in when we get ready to go to do the Walmart pickup. Oh, I have to feed the baby again. <laughs> before we leave that's a never ending cycle she has to eat constantly so i do um every three hours is how i feed her um so between like taking a nap getting a diaper change me getting a couple of things done around the house then she wakes up again and it's time for her to eat and the cycle starts all over again so it's gonna be a lot of that today that's that's basically what you guys are getting in this vlog it's just basically going to be eat sleep repeat so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get dressed and then um i'll see you guys when we get ready to go to walmart Chunk of mud. Okay. Okay. Okay, so she's done eating. I'm gonna put her in her car seat so we can go. But the thing with little Miss Missy, she don't like being in the car seat. She hates being in the car seat. And when she's in, there's no going back. Yeah. So we have to make sure everybody's ready to run out the door. <laughs> like, as soon as we put her in her car seat. You got my... What do you have? What do you have, Fatty? Is that my phone? Never mind, it's my phone. That's my sister. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go to the car seat. Okay, let's try this again. Let me get ready to go. Move. Betty, stop. Go to the door, son. Unlock it. You ain't gotta unlock it, just stay in there. She give us like a one minute grace period to get our stuff together. And then she Okay. Why is the door open? I did not tell you to open the door. I didn't tell you to unlock the door. 
I said, don't unlock it. Walmart and they're taking forever to bring my groceries out and the baby woke up and she's crying now so this is life with the newborn and I don't have her pet so far I didn't bring anything She said my soap spilled, so she's gonna go get Okay, she's crying again. So I gotta calm her down again until the lady comes back to my soap. or something that's why she was crying like that oh yep mama knows i think somebody's sleepy somebody with the big cheeks and the if she forgot about it. The sun is something else. There you go. The sun is too bright. Can't go sleepy. You should have stayed in your car seat. If you was in your car seat, you would have your cover. And you wouldn't have to worry about the sun shining in your eyes. No, you're not going to stay in your car seat. You don't care nothing about that, huh? Okay. Mm, fussy baby. Oh, here she goes. Oh, she didn't bring me my soap. <laughs> she went over to another car. You can go ask her what she doing. <laughs> Ma'am, is someone else bringing out the soap? Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> got my groceries, got my soap, got my scream. So the baby is down and now while she's asleep, I gotta try and catch up on some chores. Put this up here. Can I help you? Put this away. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Are you doing chores? Thanks. 
Are you doing chores? I'm still helping too. No one told me to help, but I'm doing it. It's appreciated. Thanks. Oh, I'm extremely thirsty and I'm running out of steam. I got these. No, I'm not drinking the coffee. It's too late for coffee. But I do have these um, VA Energy. I don't know. I don't know if they really give you. Huh? <laughs> not sponsored. Yeah, I don't know if they really um give you energy, but it do something. I don't know. I bought it because I thought it was sparkling juice, but it's not sparkling juice. It's regular juice. Wow. And I guess it's supposed to give you like natural energy. So I need something because I'm running out of steam. I still have to cook dinner, make sure the kids get showers. Um, clean the kitchen because I still didn't do that. Finish folding laundry, put it away, and iron their uniforms. <sighs> and they go to bed at 8. So. What's the schedule? Why? Because, uh, so, English was she grew up and spoke a different first language than English. I had to do a um, telepath test tomorrow. And. Cash, get out my kitchen. You can lay in your bed. You can lay in your bed. Just stay over there. We were made to love. We were made to laugh. Oh, I was made to like you. You were made to like me back, yes We were made to be best friends and stick there Out until the end, oh, you were made for me And for you The hubby's home What's this? What is this? I don't know, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Cracked pepper what? chips he in the shower. Why would uh-uh, he did good today. Why would you get these chips? Out of all the flavors in the world, why would you get cracked pepper? Yeah, they didn't have no other flavors? That was mine. Well, how do I do mine? I don't want them. Yeah, I got some food. What's that? It's not cracked <laughs> potato chips. <laughs> this is for my fat and my non chips. You don't want that? You talking about the chips? Oh, what is it? This is just the middle, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Aww, you share I'll share. You I'll share. This is just the middle. Just the middle. <laughs> yes. Okay. What is it good? It's the mid. It's the best part of the cinnamon. This cinnamon. Part melted, whatever that creamy stuff it's that I had to sit on the top while we were playing. It's okay, then. You gonna warm it up? Mm -hmm. You look like this. Mm -mm. I don't need to warm that up. Mmm. Mm -hmm. have it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. have it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it's good. I just look at cash. Did I say do you know my kitchen? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is not baby related at all, <laughs> but I bought some Canada Dry and I accidentally, well, I didn't accidentally get the bowl. This was all that they had, but I didn't know what it was. Y'all, this stuff is spicy. Like, I've never had spicy pop before. Like, it's spicy. Like, it burns your lips, burns your throat, burns your mouth. Like, and I'm not talking about just the acidic burn that you get from soda. So this is the reality of having a baby. I started cooking. I had to stop cooking because the baby woke up. And then she just spit up all over daddy. Ain't that right? Yeah? You spit up on daddy? Yes, you did. Tanea. Tanea. You spit up on daddy? Yep. 
That's what you're supposed to do. You got them good. Good job. I'm gonna spit back on them. Bye, Cash. This dog is so jealous. Mm -hmm. Cash. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. -uh. Round two. Ugh. Round two. He's so happy. There's so much. I'm finna put yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here, clean yourself up. I can't. Just get the baby. Oh. Ooh, she said round three. Round four. Oh, they will hide voice box to go Come on, check them out. Oh, look at your pants. Oh. <laughs> here, let me see that. I, it's on her leg. She gonna need. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. She gonna need another onesie. Oh, she got some down here. Take a shot. cash. Honey, what? <gasps> your tooth came out! Yay! Oh my god, it's too much going on. <laughs> the baby's spinning up, the dog is jealous, my son just lost the tooth. Come here son, let me see. I'm trying to cook dinner. Dinner's not getting done. It's a cheese. Oh my goodness, move your fingers. Oh my goodness. You're horrible. <laughs> I'm gonna try and put her down and go finish dinner. My husband is cutting Fatty's hair so he can't exactly hold her while I go cook. <laughs> She's not going. She is not going. <coughs> okay, okay, okay. Go to sleep. <coughs> We're going to be eating dinner late tonight. We're going to be eating dinner late tonight. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to get her to sleep for real. And if I can't get her to sleep, I'm just going to put her in her swing. Because I got to get dinner going. Because it's 7 o'clock. The kids have school in the morning. They go to bed at 8. So, they have to eat dinner. Anyway. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because she's not trying to stay asleep. I'm just going to put her in her swing and hopefully she doesn't cry too much. Oh, I got to get dinner. I got to get dinner done. I should have just grabbed McDonald's. Make my heart and Every time you walk on by, you make my rain clouds go away and my darkest day, oh, you were made for me And for you We were made to love We were made to laugh Oh, I was made to laugh You know you were made to like me back We were made to be best friends and stick it Until the end, oh, you were made for me for you, you made me daydream for our future. You made me walk around in the days. Make me draw small hearts and no pets. You made me wanna change my name all day. I walk around with a big smile. Seems my praying was worthwhile. Yeah. Oh, you are me. Okay, so I was able to get dinner done and guess who stayed asleep the entire time? This little baby. 
she fell asleep in her swing she stayed asleep the whole time so i was able to get dinner done it did help the fact that dinner only took like 15 minutes to cook this is just like a little quick meal that i throw together during the week kids love it they both eat it it's good it's cheap it's quick so and it's healthy semi healthy because of the pesto but anyway all right so we're gonna eat hopefully the baby stay asleep until after dinner is done it's 7 46 the kids have to hurry up and eat and then go to bed they already both took their showers um so they just have to eat and then go to bed um fatty was supposed to study his spelling um spelling words today but we ran out of time his test is on friday so it sounds like he's only gonna have tomorrow to study since today's wednesday but anyway, I will check back in with you guys the next time the baby wakes up and hopefully she lets me eat. So as soon as I sit down to eat, the little baby woke up. But luckily daddy's home. <laughs> so I was able to finish eating. And uh, he's not eating yet. Anyway. Come on. Just come sit right here. So it's after eight. Getting the kids down for bed. I have to fix Tiana's hair. Sit back. Maybe it explains the dark glasses, but there's no hair. She has important hair. I think I know what you mean. I hope you appreciate that woman. Absolutely. A woman like that doesn't just have a woman. Those are not good tests. <laughs> <laughs> that stuff causes cancer and that's the way I know. You wanted me to do this. You smell so good, Chunkamon. Oh. This alone works for you. Yeah, no one calls me brilliant. They call me shrewd. They say I lack the mind of something big. I have to find it. I need your help to establish that I was a present power base in the department. <laughs> this mama is tired. That was up until 2 o'clock last night. And then I woke up at about 7.30, 8 o'clock today, somewhere around there. And I've been going all day and cleaning, grocery shopping, cooking, you know, mom stuff. The kids are in bed. Daddy is folding laundry. And I have the baby. I'm about to put her down. Hopefully, get her sleep for the night. And she'll sleep for about anywhere from three to six hours. That's too small. Um, she'll sleep from anywhere from three to six hours at a time. So, hopefully, we can get her to sleep good tonight. And then I can get, um, some of this laundry done. Well, help, help my husband with some of this laundry because he's doing it now. But anyway, I will check back in with you guys a little bit later tonight. So, you can see, like, the nighttime portion of... I'm going to bed after this. Hopefully she sleeps for the rest of the night until anywhere. Let me see if it's 1030. 
she'll sleep anywhere between 1 30 and 4 30 which is fine with me because then I get like a good stretch of sleep but I don't know right now she doesn't look tired at all but my husband is still woke so if she's not sleepy I'll just send her downstairs with him Good morning. It is officially the next day and time to get the day started. I'm exhausted. <laughs> She's happy though. Hi. Good morning. Hi, Chunkamug. Good morning, Chunkamug. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> um anyway, she normally sleeps for like three to six hours at a time. I usually get at least one uh stretch of six hours, but not last night. So I don't know if she's going through a growth spurt or what. <sighs> Sometimes when babies go through growth spurts, they either sleep more or they sleep less. <laughs> Do either one. She is so excited this morning. I don't know what's going on. Hi. You're so excited. Yeah. Oh, there's a yawn. Big yawn. Um, anyway. I brought her to the bathroom because I have to use the bathroom, brush my teeth, wash my face, all of that stuff. I'm going to try and take a shower before my husband leaves to go to work. Um, if I can, I'll show you guys my morning pump. Because usually when I pump, I pump in the morning before she well not necessarily well sometimes before she eats but she's up already so i'm just um use my haka to pump since she's up and it's gonna be eating and everything so <laughs> this baby is super excited anyway okay so she allowed me to pee brush my teeth wash my face but now she's starting to get fussy so I was gonna try and take a shower right now 
before my husband leaves to work. Well, I can still take one before he leaves to work, but I'm just not going to be able to do it. Got it. Bottle was supposedly washed because it was on the drying rack when I got it. Mm. But it don't look clean. I think you did that. I think I did you what? put the bottle on the drying rack. I think you just rinsed it. <laughs> No, 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 I know that's, I know that's what you did this morning. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about yesterday. I got it off the drying rack yesterday. Oh, I watched that. I watched everything that was on that rack. Why is taking something on the drying rack? Why it looks so cloudy? you had the top on it. You had this top, I took this top off today. You had that, it wasn't even going to dry. You had to get the top off. You had it on the table. Oh, uh -huh. this, this is clean. Well, I mean, I can watch it again. <laughs> yeah, it could just be watch it again. Is that clean? Cause that was on the table. See, that ain't dry cause you got the top on it. No, this wasn't clean. This was just rinsed. Oh, well, that's why it ain't dry though. That's why it be like, if you gotta get the top. You know that. <laughs> so you, you gotta take, take the top off. And it's dry. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so tired. What? I'm tired. What you mean, what? I went to bed at like 10 something, I That's think. Did you, get, did you sleep by the time I came? Yeah, but she kept waking up last night. She didn't sleep good. You slept through it, clearly. I always sleep through it. Yeah. Oh, you please stop saying that. Leave her alone. She hungry. What's the matter? You okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh. No, she's trying to nurse again. Okay. I guess I'm going to feed her again. Oh, I was going to tell you guys um, that this morning I only got about three and a half ounces. Well, I'm, I'm not going to say only. I got like three and a half ounces this morning. Um, sometimes I will get more. If I pump, then I will get a lot more. Like I can get as much as like 12 ounces at one time but you were the fact that she was eating so much last night i didn't get that much this morning um like with the morning pump session i usually get a lot but anyway i'm not mad at it that's because it's because of the fact that she was eating so much last night but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog okay let me fix my bonnet Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. That's 24 hours with the newborn. Um, I'll be posting more content with the baby. So if you guys are looking to see more stuff like that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button.